Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on how to connect data using JSON data connectors in bold reports. We will see how to connect and retrieve data from a data source using a JSON data connector. And how to integrate the retrieved data into a table report item. First, let's create a new report. Create a new report and name it JSON data report. You can see how to create your first report in another video. I have provided the video link in the video description for your convenience. Now let's create a data source using a JSON data connector. Click the data icon in the configuration panel. Click the new data button. In the data sources configuration panel, choose the JSON connection type. The name field represents the name for the data source. I provide the data source name as product details. The type field represents the type of data source from which the data is given as input. There are three types by which a JSON object can be given as input. The inline type option means that the JSON object can be provided as inline data by entering the JSON object in the inline text area. The file type option means that the JSON object can be saved inside a JSON file and the file can be given as input. The maximum file size allowed is 20 megabytes. The external type option means that the JSON object can be loaded from an external link. For this demo I choose the file type. To upload the file, I click the browse button. And upload the file. Then I click the connect button. The query designer page will open. The query designer contains a schema area. Query designer surface. Toolbar. And preview area. The query designer surface is where you set up queries. It features both graphical and text-based modes to create SQL queries easily. I change the name field value to products. I drag and drop the result table from the schema area to the query designer. To preview the table, I click generate preview. The preview of the product name and the order details will be displayed in the table. Click the finish button. And the dataset will be created. When expanding the dataset, the fields that are present in the dataset will be displayed. Now let's create a data source using a JSON data connector with the inline type. Click the data icon in the configuration panel. Click the new data button. In the data sources configuration panel, choose the JSON connection type. I enter the data source name as user details. For this demo, I choose the inline type. In the inline field, I enter the JSON object. Then I click the connect button. The query designer page will open. I change the name field value to users. I drag and drop the result table from the schema area to the design surface. Then I click generate preview. The preview will be displayed. Then I click the finish button. And the dataset will be created. Now let's create a data source using a JSON data connector with the external type. Click the data icon in the configuration panel. Click the new data button. In the data sources configuration panel, choose the JSON connection type. I enter the data source name as employee details. For this demo I choose the external type. In the external field, enter the external URL link. Then I click the connect button. The query designer page will open. I change the name field value to employees. I drag and drop the result table from the schema area to the design surface. Then I click Generate Preview. The preview will be displayed. Then I click the Finish button. 
and the dataset will be created. Finally, let's add a table report item and assign the values. Drag and drop the table report item from the item panel to the design area. Add the necessary columns. Assign the values to the header row. And format the header row. Assign the values to the data row. And format the values. To preview the report, click the preview button from the top panel. You will see the values are retrieved from the JSON object and displayed in the table report item. In this video, you have learned how to create a data source using the JSON data connector. And how to add the retrieved data in the table report item in bold reports. Stay tuned to this channel for our upcoming videos on bold reports. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.